better do this one here first. No, we're not talking about that. And Patrick Lay has done a fabulous job as our ranking, as our vice chair of approach. While we speak and we're hoping to post today. Okay, the second pregnant lady. <laughs> today in the committee's hearing room, our official portraits hang together. It's easy to tell them apart. He's the one with the hair and, uh, and the better looking. It's not something that just uh, those with an NCAA uh, pool would use to say that all along they knew UMBC would, would beat Virginia. I'm just amazed that anybody from North Carolina, after being beaten by Texas A&M by 21 points, would make any allusion to basketball whatsoever. I trust our next speaker will not make that mistake. The chairman can be assured that uh, since our team was uh, one and done, we will skip <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the bracket discussion here. Would it be appropriate to announce to the House that there's a discharge petition on the desk for 4669 to give Mr. Mueller due process Gentlemen. rights? In Gen case he's fired for other than good Gentleman is not asking a proper parliamentary inquiry. It, she says, uh, just checking, just checking. Thank you, sir. House will be in order. Members saying they just haven't had time to read it. Is that a fair situation to put them in? Well, the, the challenge is, first of all, did the process take longer than we had hoped this week? Yes. I, I need to note that I have uh, talked to my staff. I do not see the bill in front of me. That means that our Xerox machine uh, is slower than we were timing-wise. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your leadership on the committee. It seems like I just saw you a couple hours ago, but only because I just saw you a couple hours ago. And this was filed. Eight o'clock last night. I ask any member, any member in this house, join me in the well if you've read this bill. The, the House sent the bill over today, a little after 1 o'clock, and it is 11.56. Could we in the future possibly try to resolve these things at a decent hour or come back the next morning and vote? I, I would say to my good friend from Tennessee, by the way, I'm very sorry he's decided to leave uh, the Senate, uh, given how much he's obviously enjoyed it today. <laughs> <laughs> Between, between the, the changes that have occurred at the White House in the last several hours and this, it has been an unusual day, I will say. Yes, sir. Well, I, but my good friend from Tennessee knows that my principal responsibility is begging, pleading, and cajoling. I must say, after a long and intense day of such discussions with several of our members who had legitimate concerns, I'm relieved, rather than depressed, that we might be able to actually finish tonight. What advice would you give to the 25-year-old Donald Trump knowing what you know today? Don't run for president. <laughs>